Hello guys and welcome to episode 31 of the Pokemon Hako Nuzlocke. In today's episode we're going to go to the Dance Theater in Aquatique, so let's go there. Um, it's because the Komodo Girls wants to destroy us in battle, and I don't want to do that, but what else is there to do? We can grind up? But you know what? Grinding is bad for you. Anyone who grinds feel bad. Also, why is Lyra though? I don't know why, but we're gonna take on the Komodo Girls. We, we can see- Oh no, Lyra stops us if we don't battle the Komodo Girls. That's what she does. That's why she's there. Okay. Let's stress our Pokemon. Let's fill our eyes what we should bring. Because we have to think 200 IQ like in this battle. Because if we don't, we're gonna get destroyed. And by destroyed, we're actually just gonna lose the Nuzlocke here. Uh, we actually need to buy healing items. Healing items. Lyra, do you not call me. I don't care about anything you have to say. Okay, let's look at our team. What's our team looking like? We have Helicop, Brian. Brian, um, try to give Brian like the Ice Berry. I don't think he needs the Ice Berry. Uh, you don't need anything. I believe that's the Dark Berry, the Cat Sib Berry. It might be Bug or Ghost. I don't think Ghost is um, Cat Sib. Um, Amulet Coins on um, Patrick is fine. Wait, do you, you don't have the Walking Berry. Dude, I know I would have like switched it. Not the Walking Berry, the Pasho Berry. I'm learning so much about berries in this let's play. But let's give Pam the Pasho Berry and let's look at our items. Did I actually buy items? Uh, I did buy 25 Hyper Potions. I think we're gonna be fine. I think, uh, well, fine is an overstatement. Um, I think we're going to have enough potions to do this, hopefully. Thud! How is this possible? How, how could I lose to a Komodo Goss? Imagine being able to do voices. I can't do voices. You was watching me, Edge. Yeah, that's right. I never thought defeating five Komodo Girls would still be so hard. I got beaten into a pop. You must have to come here to the, for the same reason. Don't get cocky just because you defeated Team Rocket. This King Kom I was about to say Team Komodo Girls. Low IQ. These Komodo Girls are insanely strong. Go ahead. See if you can defeat them. I'm not going back. I don't want to see you win. He has, he has gotten past like... The five stages of grief, or not the five stages of grief, but he's on like the last stage of acceptance. Ah, uh, look, we're gonna give them all the same voice. I mean, they have the, all the, and the, they have, they all have the same NPC sprite, so it makes sense. My welcome. My name is Suki. I met you previously in Violet City. In order to bring back Ho Ho, we needed someone with the right bond with Pokemon. We asked Mr. Pokemon to give you this mystery egg to whoever showed true potential. The egg was eventually handed from Mr. Pokemon to Professor Elm. Then to you. However, being pure alone will not be sufficient to face the power of this Pokemon. I must test you. Are you ready? You know what? I am ready. I thought that was gonna be custom battle music. She will test our bond with our Pokemon. So that was a anim that was custom animation. Ten out of ten gay freak. You're a challenge by a team? Let's say Team Grimona go what is wrong with me? Level thirty eight. I thought these guys were gonna be like a level forty two. We might be okay. Um I I don't know why I thought they start off with, like Vaporeon. I think it goes Umbreon, Espeon, Vaporeon, Jolteon, and Flareon. Flareon is the last one. So let's just go out to Patrick. Patrick Star! Come out. Let's see what can Patrick do. Umbreon, Mordbreaker. Umbreon went for Dark Pulse? That's gonna hurt. But we are bulky. We're <laughs> not that bulky. Uh, let's Essence this dude. Let's take- oh wait, we don't even get to heal up between battle. Oh no. Oh no, this is bad. You? I don't take this risk. I do not take this risk. I do not care about anything you have to say right now. I'm going to throw up my forward heal and I'm not, like, risking. That's insanely stupid of me if I actually just, like, don't care about, um, um confusion. Because I'm going to get from confused, he's going to get a match for a dark pulse and kill Patrick. Of course he can get a crit right here, but he won't get a crit. I don't feel like he's gonna get a crit. Please don't get a crit. Thank goodness. Uh, we can just break. Imagine if break break had like the chance to miss and I just stupid. But it's seventy five percent power, base power, and one hundred percent accuracy. Like, it's was, was eighty base power. So one of one. Ooh, helicopter blue to level thirty six. We're not losing this. We have a walk on belly and everything. Ooh, Patrick Lund. That's big today. I don't have any Pokemon left. 9120. I said that correctly. Wow. Yeah, we don't get time to heal up. Oh, I love this. You're quite strong. You help me on that island. 
Actually, Alice is actually correct. Fun facts that you never knew. You call me not Alice first. My name is Narco. I, I can't. I barely can speak English. How am I supposed to speak translated Japanese English? I am the one that's not so good at directions. My eyes witnessed you defeating Team Rocket when Court was in trouble on the slope of Crow. Allow me to challenge your Pokemon. Okay, come on. Bring it on. Don't bring on a Jotun, actually. Don't bring on a Jotun. I, I was kidding about that. Espion. Espion is good. So I was right. Uh, I wish we had a dark type. Um, I feel like we just have to stay in and press bite. Yeah, we're just gonna stay in and press bite. Why we took a psychic? Ah, that would hurt. That's all. Dude, I feel like I just got punched in like the gut, like really hard. Like, ow! That actually hurt a lot. Psychic me again. I will love that. I'm a helicopter. If this is a helicopter dies, I'm gonna cry. Thank goodness helicopter is a legend. But you know what this means? We have to battle a Jorteon and that's or a Vape Poilon. If it's a Vape Poilon, I can actually stay in with Helicop and just heal up my entire team. Um, if it's a Jorteon, I'm about to switch out to Brian. Brian's gonna have to tank up, tank all the hits. Oh, you're so truly strong. I might be able to speak. Um, th 45, 60. That's a lot of money. You're a great the trainer. I remember you changing off that team like a grunt from right here. I must thank you for that. Although, although I'm actually a trainer myself. She who knows the most speaks the least. I am Mickey. The... Did I really call him Mickey? Mickey Mouse, yep. Allow me to challenge you and your Pokemon. Fine with me. Bring out your best fake Poion. Novus Chuckles. It's a Flareon. Oh, wow. I mean, that's just as fine. I mean, I could probably stay in and not heal up. This thing's gonna fire the blast me and uh, Flareon has like five special attack. Actually, fun fact. Flareon actually doesn't have terrible special attack. Like, when everyone thinks um, Flareon is like only good for physical attacks, that's wrong. It's 95 base um, special attack. And that's pretty good. Most like special attackers that are like decently bulky, but they have like really good special attack, or like high, high okay special attack, they have like around um, 90 to 100. And Flareon also has that. It's just that Flareon has 130 attack, which makes it irrelevant for Lily. Everything. I don't, okay, I don't need to heal up Patrick. Patrick is pretty much useless in any other battle. Um, it was only useful against Umbreon and it kind of come in on Espeon. Like, I would have to have Patrick leading off Will-O-Wisp? Yeah, you don't bone me. Patrick is just really specially frail. And physically frail is kind of the case too. An Umbreon Dark Post did like 40% of our HP. And Umbreon has like 55 special attack. It's okay, more like 65 I believe. But, um, it's still not a lot of special attack. Oh, you're good at Pokemon too. Of course I'm good. I just get off the person that was trying to harass you. I feel offended that she didn't think I was good at Pokemon. It's not fine, Spirit. You got me off the ice by pushing me off from the back. I didn't say that correctly. I know that for a fact. I am the one who skates in sandals. I am Seiyo, the Komodo Gloss. I was listening to the dragon stand when you passed the test of the Elder. Allow me to challenge you and your Pokemon. Sandals? Does she wear socks and sandals? Linus Tech Tip? Okay, no. It's Linus from Linus Tech Tips. Okay, this is this this is this is annoying. This is scary, I'm scared. So it went Umbreon, Espeon, then backwards what I said. So Flareon, Jorteon, then Big Point. I don't remember the order that well, so I'm not gonna say I knew the order. Cause that'd be lying. I mean got to we can actually go out to Pam too. We're gonna way out to Pam. Dude, I love how they gave them all like moves they should learn up from like level up, but they don't. Cause why does Jorteon not get Thunderbolt? Okay, let me rephrase that. Why does Jorteon not get Thunderbolt, but gets Thunder at level 45? At this level, or like 40, it should learn Thunderbolt. Unless you put it in. Oh, you don't double team. Brian is blind, but Brian won't miss. Brian is a legendary Pokemon. Yeah, Brian is one of our original squad members. Um, we asked where we're dropping, and we... And ever since then, we were straight... I don't know. Oh, we can Magical Leaf! We don't miss on Magical Leaf. Okay, so if we do miss, we can go for Magical Leaf. Uh, Thunderbolt... Does it decent amount? Oh my god. Pill Ice, Minimize... I feel like I just got hatched. And then I broke through all that. How does that make you feel? That you're just a bad trainer. You are a tailbar, absolutely trash trainer. Absolutely garbage. Let's go with these kimono girls. You just have to have 200 IQ. Oh, 
It's so close. I almost had you. No, you didn't. I have 200 IQ. I evade all the attacks. I want this in Sword and Shield where they just throw trainers on your face. I was like decently strong. I am the last one. You were so dependent about going on tunnel. I was the one who trolls even underground. I am Kuni, the commander girl. I looked at you and wonder when you thought to Team Rocket's mission to take over the radio tower. You must show your strength to me now. Allow me to challenge you and your Pokemon. I think they say the same thing at like the final test. Actually, I don't think they all do. I think most of them do. Does it though? I love how they went out of model. We went from ice then to the Team Rocket thing that was before the ice. I don't know. Helicopters attempted to the foes Vaporeon's attack each. Oh, yep, English is my first language. I'm gonna just stay in for like drag. Well, that's obviously not gonna do anything. I'm just going out to Brian White's stuff. So, what's this Vaporeon gonna have for a quote unquote stab move? Hydro pump storm? Soft, okay. I didn't know if they would teach you eight gems. That also did a decent amount. Do I have any four restores? Please tell me I have four restores. I don't have any four restores, okay. Well, I'm not going to throw a uh, paralyzed hail on Brian because that'd be a waste. A waste of a paralyzed hail. I mean, it wouldn't be a waste if I get paralyzed at a spawn, but I don't think I'm gonna get paralyzed. Oh, I'm beating him! No, 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 no! Let's get Brian out of here. Let's get Brian out of here. This is not good. That should do a lot. I'm actually gonna stay in. I'm gonna press medical leaf. Ma magical, magic, magical leaf. That's what I said. Not magical leaf, not miracle leaf. Magical leaf. If Brian dies, I'm gonna cry. That's uh, okay. I thought that was special attack. Never mind. I always forget about Oro Bean's like 10% chance to lower attack. And then when I do remember, I'm like, oh, it's special attack. Because it's a special attack and move, it might make sense. That did a decent amount, but I'm not staying. Uh, let Hilliat come out and show all her what she can do. Hilliat did nothing to us, pretty much. Oh, well, she did some things in the beginning of the last episode. Not the beginning of the last episode. The episode before that. Last episode was really a filler episode. But I feel like that just had to come out. That solved it a lot. She predicted me, by the way. Or she just wanted to taunt me. I bet she wanted to just taunt me. This solves not going to do anything to Hilliat. Hilliat has that pound drum. I don't even know what you call it. I tried to look it up. Hilliat's going over that side beam. Why is Psychic in Kanto? What? Okay, we're just going out to hold up. Why do they put Psychic in Kanto? Like, it's so far away. Why would you do that? Like, I feel like it should have made all like the good TMs, like all the like, decent ones, like Thunderbolt Th and Fi Flamethrower, like really good and everything. In Johto, late game Johto, of course, but just in Johto somewhere. But no, they're in post game Kanto. I understand keeping like strong moves like fire. Actually, no, fire blast you can buy it like the second gym. Why? Okay. Now, don't question the game balance of Game Freak. I had an entire episode complaining about the balance of Game Freaks and Game Freak's stupid decisions in this game. That's mostly level related, but. And now, we level up! Holy Hop is going. Gr Holy Cup is growing to levels that has never been seen before. Level 36. That's where Typhlosion would have evolved, I believe. Oh, Krilava would have evolved into Typhlosion. 45, 60. Is that all? We were not wrong about you. You're indeed worthy of this. this. We obtained the Clue Bell. I thought we had to get the Clue Leaf for some reason. That's not even a thing. Big sisters, I just saw the big shadow of a Pokemon over at the Bell Tower. It could be. It could be the legendary Hoho. Edge will be at the Bell Tower. I'll see you there. They all slowly walk off screen because they don't have the fancy running shoes. Look at me. Going at the speed of light. Okay. What did you buy me? Hello. Oh, hi, Edge. How are you? I found a useful item on shopping. Also, apparently, I looked up um the item, like what the chances are. Apparently, she cannot give you all choice items, only a choice scarf. Which I guess is fine, but um, you only can get the items once, so we can't sell if we get like. We we shouldn't sell our choice scarf. So if we accidentally sell a choice scarf, we'll offer a choice scarf until post game. Which I still don't know, I have any idea how we're going to do post game in this game. We have the Kebby abilities. Also, for some reason, she gives you two super potions, by the way. There's like a chance of just buying you two super potions, and that's it. I don't know why, Game Freak. You did that, but I understand why you didn't. I don't know, actually. I don't understand anything. Actually, we're doing so much in this episode that I'm gonna end the episode here, probably. 
I mean, I could. Can I? Did, I feel like I did nothing in this episode. I feel like, I feel like I did nothing. But then we just took on like five trinos that was supposed to get us to the post game. And I want to be honest. I don't feel like taking on the maze right now. I'm gonna go though, just so I can save like feet time. Like the time it, I spend walking. So we need to buy Ultra Balls. So. But uh, I don't really want to take on the maze right now. I do not. Good age. Just here's another package. Muscle badge. That's one of the real items that she gives you one time. So we need to actually keep that muscle band. What do you have? Oh, she has so many pack. I have so many packages. The cobalt berries. That's stock. I know that's stock. No for the packages. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We need to buy some Ultra Boss. I think. We definitely need to buy some Ultra Boss. I guess 15 is going to do. I thought we had more money. I want to be honest. We might have to sell TMs. I don't want to sell TMs, but it might have to come down for me to buy some TMs. And I don't like that. I really just don't want to waste my TMs. Also, we need to go. Actually, we actually need to go over here. Also, this area right here. It's the beautifulest area I have ever seen in a Pokemon game. Past this area, the bell tower. You need to go though. Oh, since I left. Oh, he's just. He's, please just notice my gem badge. I have the wing. I have the club. But just get off here. Oh, well. Like, look at this area. This area is one of the beautifulest areas in a Pokemon game. Also, I'm gonna turn this up. I know, I don't like doing this. We're gonna go to video settings. Up in Geo. I don't think that did anything. It might... Actually, it did a little bit thing. It makes it a little bit more clearer. This is the most beautiful area in a Pokemon game. You can't prove otherwise. I love this area. How it looks and everything. Actually, I believe there's a route on Ed's and Y that actually kind of looks like this. Um, Ed's and Y is one of my favorite Pokemon games, graphically at least. I like the style and everything. Also, I am an idiot. I am not an idiot. But, we're in the episode here, and then this episode, we're going to be climbing this tower, so we can get the legendary board, the one and only Ho Ho, and fail to capture it. Hopefully, capture it, but we're going to fail, obviously. So, if you guys did enjoy this episode, you can press the like button. And if you dislike this video, you can dislike it. And, well, if you made it to the end of the video, and you like my content enough to watch to the end, obviously, I messed that up. But, if you made it to the end, you obviously like my content, so you should, press, you should press subscribe. I have this going up every day, hopefully. But thank you for watching. Goodbye.